Hello. Uh, here we are looking at the new Embark screen for Dwarf Fortress. Um, we have the information up in the top right that shows you what kind of place you're going to be getting into, uh, the kind of biome, what sort of uh, features it has, like metal, or whether it has an aquifer, whether it has clay, what sort of neighbors uh, you might have. Uh, looking down at this mountain range here, uh, you can, in fact, zoom in uh, so that you can see uh, where exactly you want to be in this giant world. Uh, you can scroll around here, uh, looking for the, the perfect place. Uh, often a, a brook or river is recommended so that you can have water uh, flowing through, and you can use water for uh, for power, for drowning things, for drinking, uh, for catching turtles. Um, so you can just position your fort. This is the standard size, a 4x4 four four fort, which amounts to more like 200 by 200 tiles, and then, of course, something like um, 100 or more tiles deep. So it's a huge, a huge play area you don't usually need to mess with. We can look at the elevation grades and the uh, the cliffs here. Uh, this this art here um, uh, for the for the world map is all by our new artist uh, Jacob. Aside from those elevation overlays, which are still still placeholders, and uh, you can see it's just beautiful the the forests, the rivers. Uh, there you can see there were elves marked as our neighbors north of us, and here we've got our elves. Uh, there's Ray's Glimmer, the Elven Forest Retreat. The red is just to indicate that you can't embark there um, because it, there's elves present. Uh, Jacob hasn't yet drawn the Elven Forest Retreats themselves up at this top level. Um, now we're looking in at the Jungles of Dung, a coastal um, uh, temperate temperate forest that is terrifying. So that means it's got uh, possibly evil rains, zombies, uh, the vegetation might be dead, there could be other hideous creatures there. Uh, you can really embark anywhere you want. We have this little teeny island here with some forests on it, some tropical dry broadleaf forest. Uh, and you zoom in and you see there's actually quite a lot of detail. Uh, even to the littlest tiles on the world map level, we have these these um, kind of uh, amazing little places now that you can look at. Look at those little trees. Look at the, the, the brooks uh, flowing north and south to the coast there and the beach. Uh, it's really uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, you can kind of sit here and scroll around this thing forever, but uh, uh, this is this is the new the new embark screen. Here's a volcano. Uh, the dreadful heavy blaze <laughs> is the name it's got up in the window there, uh, and you can see it where it's actually situated on this little island uh, there in the uh, to, to the the north of the the main continent there. And um, so you can do you can do different things on the screen like you can choose your origin civilization uh, because we don't have site images yet to fill the fill the entire area there I only ran it out to the year two so you can see all of these dwarven civilizations have one one site there's one with two another one with two but population 200 they've all chosen a king and queen those actual historical figure just beginning their life in this horrifying place uh, you can use the the site finder here to locate. A specific place you don't just have to kind of fish around uh, for a uh, an embark, embark that you like if you if you'd like a very specific biome or you you definitely want to have shallow metal and no aquifer uh, it can pick out the places for you where there, those things uh, uh, can be found here we have a glacier uh, here the 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 glaciers sometimes flush against the the ocean sometimes there's a beach um, and now going up to the tropics uh, here in this world, the tropics are just against the north. There, uh, we don't really have kind of decided geometry in dwarf fortress or spherical worlds or anything like that. So, just kind of random what your poles are like. It, it designates them either tropical or, or, or polar Arctic type place. Um, and see these jungles here. Here's a mirthful jungle. Oh, there's some more elves. There's blow larks, the elven forest retreat, and blood sparkle, the uh, elven forest retreat. And here in this mirthful jun jungle place, there uh, we have another mountain range. Uh, you can see here in those higher mountains, the the brook had carved a path through them. Uh, the rivers where they they touch against the ocean aren't 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 done yet. So we're missing the delta in that desert there as we're scrolling through this kind of painted desert and off into a marsh. Uh, to the east. Um, there's a few problems with rivers where they hit lakes and so forth. That's all code problems Jacob had to work with and I've still got to code my way through that to make the uh, make the rivers complete, but we'll get there. Um, see all the little little islands and things. So, so all together going pretty well. Going pretty well. 
Uh, so uh, more to look forward to.